UMC just, it helped me fall in love with, with pharmacy. Literally, I could not even fathom what pharmacy encompassed until I started working here as a student. It was just a great opportunity to have somewhere to train you and teach you and kind of mold you and help you to understand what career you will be going in before you got into it. I actually grew up about three or four blocks from UMC, formerly Iberville Projects. I met Jessica through my daughter. She was teaching at Summerbridge and Jessica started hanging around after school. And so she and my daughter really connected and got to know each other. We sort of adopted her as, as one of our children. <laughs> Mr. McDonald came into my life when I was 12 years old, almost 20 years ago. No one in my family had gone to college, so I didn't have much guidance. Ultimately, Mr. McDonald just introduced me to a world that I didn't have access to. He leveled the playing field for a kid from the projects. Back then, we saw a young lady that wanted to uh, do things in life, perhaps some things that uh, life didn't provide at the time. We were very, very happy that she permitted us to help her reach her dreams. Like most college students, you, you don't know what you want to do when you're in school because you haven't experienced much. In undergrad, I just knew I was a big fan of science and math, so, you know, pharmacy kind of found me. Once I arrived at Xavier, it was only me that could determine where I was going. If I was willing to work hard, then none of the other things where I was disadvantaged mattered anymore. It was only me and what I was willing to do to move myself forward. Pharmacy is a four-year program. There's P1, P2, P3, P4. So at the end of the uh, P1 year, I actually applied as an intern at UMC. So we have relationships with both Xavier University here in New Orleans and also University of Louisiana Monroe, where we train pharmacy students. Since she's been over the last three years, she has participated in all the activities that a pharmacist do. She has all the background that she needs to now step into a pharmacist role. Just touching the drugs and, and being present and seeing it, it just does something different. You realize you're treating people and it, it just, it feels good. Without UMC, I can't say that I would love hospital pharmacies or that I would know how to make IVs or that I even knew that we make chemotherapy. I didn't even know how much pharmacy actually did. UMC just it gives you this big vision and, and it forces you to think bigger. This building, this structure, this entity is more than the hospital. This institution trains thousands of young people to contribute to our community, just like Jessica. Without University Medical Center, it would be very hard to find another hospital that has these type of services, these opportunities, the facilities to be able to demonstrate and to show these students and help train them and prepare them for graduation. What I've realized since growing up is all of the things that you think are working against you are the very tools that you need to be who you need to be. See, because I am a kid from the projects, I used to be ashamed of that. And I didn't want people to know that, but I realized now I have a unique connection. My story has more character. It's a more beautiful story. I can almost see my old neighborhood from here and I'm more grateful that I was from the projects because it, it made me who I am. My name is Jessica Baham. I have recently graduated from Xavier University of Louisiana, PharmD program, and I am now Dr. Jessica Baham.